Hi, welcome to the Marketing Mix. My name is Brianna. I'm the content and marketing strategist here at One Step Services. And today we are going to be talking about six best practices when you design for print. So number one is use CMYK, not RGB. So RGB is for digital images. If you're creating for a website, email, social media, you're definitely gonna use the RGB color mode. But for print, you need to use CMYK. Trust us on this one. We've printed RGB uh, artwork and we see all sorts of crazy things happen when we do this. We see colors that are neon when they should not be neon or you know something that's supposed to be blue and it turns out very, very purple. Um, so you're just gonna get so much better color accuracy if you design in CMYK. Again, we can make the conversion in pre-press and a lot of times we do and it turns out fine, but there is a higher chance that the colors are gonna be inaccurate if we convert it in pre-press, whereas if you convert it on your side before you export the file, it's gonna look a lot better. Number two, use high-res photos and artwork. So again, this is different than in digital. Um, a lot of times when you're designing for a website or for email, you actually want things that are a little bit lower res because you want them smaller so they upload quicker. But in print, you want really high resolution. Um, for photos, we want a minimum of 300 DPI on every photo. And when you export that artwork to print, you wanna make sure you're getting at the highest possible setting and that it is um, exported specifically for print, not for web. Number three, ask about margins and bleeds. So even if you are used to designing for print and you know instantly what margins and bleeds are, <laughs> The trick is different printers have different requirements for margins and bleeds. And sometimes it can, it's just a fraction of an inch, but that can actually make a big difference. So especially if you're starting with a new printer or one maybe you haven't designed for in a while, before you get started, ask, hey, what are your measurements for margins and bleeds? They'll be happy to tell you. Along that same note, if you are designing a direct mail piece, ask where the address block goes. So USPS actually has a very specific rules about how big the address block is and where it can go. And we, time and time again, we get these beautiful postcards, but the address block is incorrect. And in order, we move it in pre-press and it covers up a piece of artwork that's really important. And so then we have to send back to the client and go back and forth and it just delays the whole process. So the best practice is before you even start the design, ask us, hey, do you have a template that shows me where the address block goes and how big it should be? We absolutely do. We will send it to you. It'll just make everything so much smoother and so much faster. <clears throat> the next one is locked files. So the next best practice is do not send locked files. <laughs> send unlocked files or even best native files. So uh, as I said, we can adjust things in pre-press and especially if we're on a tight deadline, we will absolutely fix things that need to be fixed so that it prints the best quality for you and we can get it out the door. However, if the file is locked, we can't do anything with it. So make sure you're sending us unlocked files and if you're able to and comfortable, it's actually best if you can send us the native file, especially if you designed it in Adobe. Um, and that way, um, those adjustments that we can make in a native file and re-export it are it's always gonna print better than if we make the changes on the PDF. And last but not least, um, design in Adobe. So there are a lot of different design programs out there and they work really well for a lot of different situations. The best design programs for print are Adobe. So Photoshop, Illustrator, or our personal favorite here at One Step, which is InDesign. Create in those and your print experience will be fantastic. There you go, six best practices. Um, always design in CMYK. Use the highest resolution possible, minimum of 300 DPI. Ask us about what our measurements are for margins and bleeds. Ask us where the address block can go before you get started on the design. Send us unlocked files so we can make adjustments if needed. And lastly, design in Adobe. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you later. Bye.